That's recording. Mic check, mic check. <coughs> All right, we're good. Let me, uh, up. Oh, it helps when I've got the program clicked. There we go. Okay, just checking that. All right, so. <coughs> we'll count down in three, two, one, go. There is nothing wrong with your music player. Everything you hear is being carried out as we intend. We control the treble and the bass. The imaginative processes between your ears are now under our influence. Do not attempt to adjust this podcast. You're listening to Relative Dimensions. Hello out there, everyone, and welcome back to Relative Dimensions. This is the show with the news, the reviews, and the playthroughs of the latest and greatest in multiplayer gaming. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Chris Renshaw, and I, it is episode number 28. I know the show notes are labeled wrong, but I'm going to send it over to my co-host. He's right over there. It's Philip. Hello, Chris. It is our destiny. To be doing the show tonight. Are you Darth Philip? No. Is that what we're going with today? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not the Darth you are looking for. It's January 27th, 2013. It is January 27th. You didn't do your part. I'm working on it. It's getting there. <laughs> we're just getting back in the groove of things. Uh, this is, I'm going to tase you and watch Super Nanny while you drool into the carpet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Ah, regular episode this week. No regular episode. No playthroughs. We'll get into some news. We've got a lot of news. Yes, a lot, a lot of, news. of varied news. Some of this is going to be old because we haven't done a show in a while. Yeah. Some of this stuff is new. Some of it's kind of old. Um, but what you been playing? I've been playing uh, DCU. Played a bit of that. Got my character all leveled up. Uh, I think I'm level 24 now. Wow. Almost there. Yeah, almost there. That's a good thing about 30. DCU is it's only... Uh, it's only, you know... Yeah, only, like th- only, only 30, 30 levels in there. You know, yeah. You know. It takes a little while, though, because sometimes you got to... I, I'm sitting there, I'm playing through, and people keep wanting to team up with me. I'm like, no, no, leave me alone. And then I keep dying. So then I team up with them, and then let them do all the work. <laughs> and it was like... I tried to help a little bit, but then... Because, you know, lag and all that kind of crap. But i uh, also been playing some Star Trek. Imagine that. Ooh, imagine that. Imagine that. Star Trek. Don't know when that would happen. You would play with AIE? A- yeah, um, not so much playing with them, but... but um, like helping out the yeah, fleet? Yeah, helping out the fleet, doing the getting the Starbase all worked up. We still cannot transwarp to the Starbase. <laughs> See, so let me get this right. You can't actually get to the Starbase. No, we cannot. And from what I was reading on a lot of the projects that are being done right now, mm-hmm. Starbase technically isn't there yet. Mm. Like, we're building it. So, yeah, you have to build your house before you can go to it. <laughs> That sucks. Yeah. Oh well. But I've been playing in my uh, my brain cruiser, which is uh, friggin' amazing. Cool. Oh, things a beast. Things a beast. <laughs> Slide up here. <laughs> Get myself in the shot. You like motorized chairs, little scooters. <laughs> Me. But then I'd be like doing this. Me. <laughs> we all go inside with just for the heck of it. Yeah. A <laughs> little bit too more to the left. No. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 Just quite. <laughs> So, is that it? Just, uh... Yeah. You downloaded Dota 2. Downloaded Dota, and Was disappointed. Um, it, okay, I didn't even get into the game. Like, the guy the guy sent us those beta keys, mm-hmm. and, like, I know you gotta, like, create an account and all that kind of stuff, whatever, but uh, I'm on the main page when you first load up Dota, and it's, like, Dota... <laughs> Did, and like Did the you music try lowering is just the settings? I lowered everything. Everything was already as low as it could already go. Wow. That sucks. Like by default, it was already at the lowest. And nothing. <laughs> you get nothing. nothing. <laughs> and you'll like it. 
So that's what I had to put up with. Time for a new computer. Yeah, time for, yes. Tax return. <laughs> We're not even going to go there. <laughs> uh, so I've been playing uh, WoW, mainly. Um, been, uh, Where's your monk at? Hmm? Where's your monk at? Monk is at 86. Okay. Still 86? Come on. Uh, you? Still 86? To be honest, I haven't had a tremendous <laughs> amount of play time. Oh, okay. And by the way, I was at 85 last week. You were sending me daily updates of like five level jumps, man. Yeah, What's I know. going on? Last week I was at 85. <laughs> now I'm at 86, but I haven't been playing it too much because I've been so busy getting the house in order for Chloe's birthday this past weekend. Yeah. So, um, so not quite there yet, but leveling really quickly. I've been mainly what I've been doing is I haven't been able to play a lot, so I just jump on and do the daily just to stack the buff. Okay. Because then later I can play it. Because apparently it stacks up to twenty four times. You can get up to an hour's worth of du- or a day's worth of a uh, uh, double XP. Oh. So um. And then I played a little bit of Minecraft. Uh, on the Xbox, recording some videos. Sorry, I had to fix my hair. Up, uh, someone didn't put the phone on silent. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hear squat. <laughs> and then uh, I, I started playing on the PC. The one of the podcasts I listen to, they have a big, they have a big Minecraft server, and I started playing on there, recording a video. It'll probably be out before this video ends up coming out, but uh, hmm. uh, just to, because I found it's easy for me to make videos if I just turn the mic on whenever I play, and then I can just upload the video, and then it's like, ta da! Video! <laughs> Minecraft video, <laughs> it's easy. So if you guys want to see that, youtube.com slash OCDcast. Um, and then. The real game I've been playing all week. Uh-oh. It's not multiplayer, uh, not technically, and it's Chloe's fault. It's all Chloe's fault. Can't blame the kid. It's actually sitting to your right. You, you've been playing Sky. Why? Why are there like three Skylander boxes? Because I had to buy the game three times. Because Chloe got Skylanders Giants from my parent. Now, okay, honestly, if you trace it back far enough, it's my own fault. Okay. Because yeah. I saw the game. Because, you know, Skylanders, you get the figures, and then you put them on the portal, and they come into the game. I was like, that's cool. I think Chloe would like that. Okay. So uh, I was going to get it for them, but then my parent, like, we were doing this Black Friday shuffle, and it just worked out easier for my parents to get it. And they're like, well, since we got it, we'll just give it to her for Christmas. And I was like, okay, that's fine. It means I don't have to pay them back for it. Hey, there you go. Um, and they're like, it works out for us because it means we don't have to find a gift for her. So they gave it to her, and... Cl- and <laughs> I gotta look at this. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we get it for for the 3DS because she's always got her 3DS. Whereas, like, if we get it for like the Xbox or the Wii or whatever, it may not be here if she goes to like her grandparents, or whatever. Right. Um. So we we get it for her, open it up, but Ashley's got to learn how to play because Ashley's showing Chloe how to play. Mm-hmm. Well, Ashley starts playing it and she goes. I really like this. <laughs> I, and she gets kind of hooked onto it. She starts her own save file and is playing it a little bit. She's like, I really want this game now. <laughs> so last week we were in Target. And see, the problem is, is that game is normally like 70, <laughs> like the, the starter kit okay. is like $75. I gotcha. And the portal owner's packs is what you do if you already have the portal. Gotcha. Those are normally like 60. But the Black Friday, we, they, we found it for like 40. And then last week we were in giant and they had the portal owner packs for thirty dollars oh so i i I, as a surprise i picked one up for ashley then i was like well crap they're both gonna get it (laughs) i'm gonna want to play it so i bought me one too because that way we could all be playing it like the same time it doesn't have to be like but i wanted to play skylanders but you're playing this game now does it multiplayer at all it says, like, I've, the reviews online, I'm saying it does. Okay. But I wonder if that's only on the consoles. I don't think the 3DS okay. does. Because I think the 3DS is actually port by another company. So I think the console version, I don't I don't know yet. Okay. Um, but I thought it might. So that's another reason I tried to get three copies. So, yeah. So I bought it and I played <laughs> it. and Because it, it combines my two favorite obsessions right now. Action figures and video games. And video games. I got you, yeah. 
It, plus, it's like Pokemon, where you got to catch them all, but you actually get something that you can, in the physical realm, you know? Okay, yeah. You're, you're spending all this money on actual little figurines. <laughs> so, I've been playing that a lot. That's what we should, because um, who else has... Uh, Disney Pixar came out with something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. That wasn't in our news, but it's they decided the Disney is jumping on the bandwagon with uh, Disney Infinity. Mm-hmm. Uh, where they're going to have like a little portal thing. I forget what they call it, but basically the portal and you buy f- Disney figures instead of these made up like yes. f- monsters. You buy like the Incredibles and like probably uh, Buzz Lightyear yeah, or something like it. Yeah. Eventually. I think right now it's like limited to like the Incredibles and like Jack Sparrow. Okay. And you play with all and those. And then if you think about it, what did Disney just buy? Star Wars. They just bought Star Wars. What else so... does Disney own? The Avengers. Yeah. So we're going to have some Marvel characters in there? You're going to have some... I don't know. I don't think I can shell out money for another game. Uh, yeah. Because it's going to be... Right. Like, I've already seen the price points they're talking about. It's going to be ridiculous. Plus, they're talking about not <laughs> only get the figures, but they're going to have little power ring things that you can set the figures on to give them additional powers. I'm like, That'd this cool. just sounds... I'm just... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm oh, hearing yeah. the money. Just, you can just hear the money. I can hear the out. money flowing out of my wallet. Think about, like, they would take a... Um, take some of like the superheroes powers and it's like oh you're gonna have iron man but he can do like uh he gets one repulsor blast unless you buy no not i'm, I'm thinking like uh iron man also has the power of mrs incredible and he's all giant and stretchy and it's like what that's kind of no, weird no, but what? okay <laughs> let's make it happen <laughs> make it happen captain <laughs> so that'd be that'd be kind of cool to have that's what i've been obsessing on recently i feel shame it's okay but it's okay because it's fun. Yeah. I, I like it. It's for your kid. Yeah. Just keep totally. telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that. It's, for, it's, it's funny for the kid. It's it's no no. You want to hear something funny? We were talking about Chloe wanted to get one of the three packs or whatever for like with her birthday money. Okay. And we were talking with Ashley or whatever. And I, I was we were as we were, as as she was going out the door. I, they didn't end, they didn't end up going to get it. But I was like, if she gets the three pack, make sure it's got a fire in there because we need a fire <laughs> one. Because <laughs> if she buys it, then because I can upload it onto my game too. Yeah. Because you yeah. got the 3ds one. Like on the console, it's just whatever's on the portals in the game. Okay. But the 3ds, so you don't always have to have the portal with you around. You load preload two in there, and you can swap between the two at will. Okay. And then. To get new ones in there, you have to delete that one and then pull out the portal and set and load oh, up a yeah. new one instead. Now, how is how does the portal peripheral connect? It's infrared. It is. It's, it's got an infrared port and then there's an infrared port on the 3ds. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Uh, but they have a iOS. They have like an iOS and Android version that uses a Bluetooth portal. Ah. So you. Hmm. Because they have iOS games and stuff too. Okay. So gotcha. Philip, you can get into it too if you want. Yeah, I I could do a lot of stuff. Come on, man. We got figures and everything. You know how many games I already have that I don't play? Yeah, let's talk about that, all right? I, that's the one thing we got to look at. Yeah, like, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll roll this into one of the, the stories we have coming up, is that the Elder Scrolls Online kicked off its beta, mm-hmm. or is uh, is kicked off its beta sign-up, <laughs> all right? Um, so, I'm sitting here reading this, and I'm like... I can't do another MMO. I got so many already that like I love to play, like DCO. I love that game. I don't have time to play it. Yeah. And it's 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 gotten to the point where the levels we're at now, and is there like an easy or hard mode in there? In what? In in DCU, or is it all I don't just think flat? So. Okay. So it's like you're playing at the normal whatever level, and then as you get up higher in these levels. You need teams. Yeah. You need to meet up with people, and that, that's probably why these guys were all trying to group with me and everything. Yeah. But it's like, okay, I... It's called Massively Multiplayer for a reason. Yeah. There's a reason we do a multiplayer show. Is you usually have to have multiple players. Multiple persons. Yeah. I was leveling... At what, the last time I played, I was leveling up my character a lot by doing the... Uh, the, the, the instances. The instances. The, I forgot what they're called. They're not raids or... I forget what they're called. That's some weird name. The dungeons, basically. Yeah. The five men, four men, whatever it is. Yeah, I was doing a bunch of those. But, uh, yeah, and so I keep hearing this stuff, talk about it. I'm like, 
I ain't signing up for it. I'm seeing a lot of people sign up for it. I'm like, no, I'll pass. Because unless it can, wa- like, it's got to be like, blow your mind, wow. Yeah. Because otherwise, I don't have the time. That Mech Warrior. Hmm? Mech Warrior is awesome, but again, is no time. Is it out of beta? I don't think it's officially out of beta, but it is open okay. beta, so. Like, it went from closed beta to open beta. Okay, gotcha. Which I still can't run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But it's just going to be a lot of those games are going to be like somebody knows like, hey, let's play some mech warrior. Like, All right, let me patch the game. Yeah. <laughs> wow gets me because I have to pay for it. But at the same time, it's like the best of the best for me. So it's worth paying for. And you've been paying since since yeah. vanilla. Yeah. Well, no, not quite. Not quite. I took a big break. OK. I did the math on that. When, when did the game come out? Uh, 2004. Came out 2004. Okay, and it's now 2013. So uh-huh. we'll say we'll say the game's been out for eight years. Because like it, okay. it came out what middle of 2004 somewhere around. No, there? it came out like November 2004. So late 2004. Okay, so the game, yeah, the game's been out for eight, a little over eight years. Yeah, and you do the math on that, 15 bucks a month at what's eight and 12, 72. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 15 bucks a month, 72 months. I think it's like a thousand and some change. <laughs> Let's not think about that, all right? Spread out over eight years. Yeah. You spent a little over, you spent like $1,100 over eight years. I'm not hearing this, (laughs) all right? I don't want to hear this. But if you think about it, that's not a horrible... No. Yeah. Like, if you had to drop $1,000 tomorrow, you'd be like... Uh, 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 Yeah. That's $1,100 over eight years. Yeah. But, like, there's also this defiant... We got a lot of stuff about this defiance. Yes. Um... This new Defiance game. The only reason I even care at all is, A, it's hooked into this TV show, and it's just got me curious because it's a, it's something different. And it's just got me curious at how it's going to integrate with the TV show. How yeah. are these two going to go together? And that's, that's the big thing they're trying to push right. is we're, in, we're having a video game that everyone's going to play, and it's going to ma- parallel the TV show. Right. And you're like, how? Right. But here's the deal. If it sucks or it doesn't do it right, uh-huh. I don't care. I, that's like, if, if it sucks, it's just going to fall off my radar. I got too much stuff to play. Okay. If I want to play, because I also thought it was going to be an MMO. Like, or I thought it was, it is an MMO, but I mm-hmm. thought it was going to be like MMORPG because it's made by Tryon. That's the other reason I'm following it real well is because it's made by Tryon who made Rift, which was really good, okay. but just a wow knockoff. Yeah. Like, the game and the core mechanics, the game is designed really well. Um, it just, a lot of the problems I have with it is what I have with WoW, and I have more history with WoW. Mm. I got a lot of characters and time invested in it, and I'm not going to dump that for a game that's I sent, I pretty much identical, but just a few small tweaks. Right. That was kind of my feelings on it. But, uh... So that's, that's why, like, it's a good game, and so I have faith in the developers... So that's the other reason I'm keeping it ahead of it. So while we're talking about Defiance, um, looks like the beta's already started. It just started in uh, January 18th, but it started for the PC players because this is something I found out. This game's <clears throat> going to be not only on PC, but on consoles as on well. On consoles. Because uh, if you look at the... Why did my computer not end up loading that? Uh-oh. It happens. I tried to like load up the pre-order page that has like all the benefits or whatever, but it's it just sent loaded up the main defiance page. So, um, yeah, you can lo- you can buy it on like PlayStation Three, uh, Xbox, and the PC. I was like, that's kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Because it's like first I'm like my first pin just like ooh console I could play it on there. Yeah. But then I'm like. Then you couldn't play either, you know. But it uh, it hits me that he, um, that whole like, if anybody else wants to play, they can't play because I bet it's going to be one of those single player only things. I doubt this yeah. is going to be like a Halo thing. Mm-hmm. But uh, it looks like it's only going to be it's going to be one of those buy to play kind of games. Okay, where you buy the game, but there's no subscription fee. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, they got the standard and the standard at sixty bucks, 
and then the deluxe version at $100, which you get a whole bunch of, like, XP boosts and collector's outfits and stuff. whoop de doo <laughs> Yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! But, so that's the other... Eh. I can't see myself dropping 60 bucks on this unless it, like, really come, follows through. Yeah. <clears throat> see, and that's one of the things... I don't like about some of the some of the, it's like oh you can get a new outfit I'm like I don't care yeah why do I care what my character looks like in um in Star Trek Online the only new outfits I've ever bought were free yeah <laughs> it was like I think I've I think I've changed my outfit <coughs> like once and then that was it I yeah. I I because I just thought I looked a little bit too dorky at first and then I was like okay yeah I went in I customized my character and then after I customized my character. I found like body armor and the the kits, uh-huh. and then that has its own visual visualization that takes over your outfit. So it's like uh, I don't even care anymore. Yeah, <laughs> they because they you look in some of the stuff they have. Um, you watched? Do you watch Enterprise? Right. Yes. The um they have the uh 29th century, the black yep, like have, ribbon stuff. I have that. Yep. You have that outfit in the there? The blue one? No, no, no. It's the uh, that's the um that's relativity. No, no, no. The blue one with the... I have the the all blue with, like, the square pads on the shoulders with, like, little tack that's, marks. That's that's, that's, that's from the Voyager episode Relativity. No, no, no. That's from Enterprise. That's not from Enterprise? Yeah, it is. Uh, no, that's that's not future. I'm talking future. 29th century. Oh. The the one crew member... I did not see that episode of Enterprise, okay. so I don't know what you're well, talking cause about. Because there's, there's... He fluctuates in a bunch of them. Oh, oh no, no. I know the crewman. You're talking about crewman... Um, I forget his name. Someone to see, I think. I, I forget. Sounds about right. But uh, I know the character you're talking about, but I've not seen that episode where they go into like the 29th century, okay. like the, the Enterprise J or whatever. Yeah. I've not seen that okay. episode. Well, he's he's wearing like this this all black, and it's looked like these weird... It looks like someone just took him in like black electrical wire and just like wrapped it around him. <laughs> and that's his uniform. You can buy that uniform. It's like, no, I don't want... No, I thought you were talking about the regular stupid. Enterprise uniform. The, no, no. I have that. Pack. Yeah. Because that, that came with the Enterprise pack that yep. you bought. Yeah, with the ship and all that. So it's like... Or I, th- I think <clears> it was just the version that I bought. Like, you know, when you buy the... That's right. Didn't you buy it through Steam or something? Yeah, like or something like that. Yeah. But it's like, no one wants... You can... In the in the whole winter event, mm-hmm. a lot of the stuff you would... Uh, you'd spend... You'd... Because uh, some of your, your winter duty officer missions, you got back, like, ornaments and... Like Earth ornaments and you know Klingon winter arachidinos, and it's like, wait, arachidino? Are... What the heck is arachidino? It's um, well, for those of you who watch DS Nine, it's basically like a Klingon cappuccino. Oh, yeah. Is but it made with like blood? Probably made with blood and like the weird worms and the made. tears of my enemies. Yes, that's that's the kicker. You got to have it with garnish it with tears. <laughs> I'll have a enemies. double. I'll have a double <laughs> shot of tears of my enemies. <laughs> Yeah, but they just put in dumb things. With some caramel. Can I have some caramel, please? Caramel makes everything better. And a little butterscotch. Hold the butter. Just put a little little scotch in there. But yeah, just putting stupid stuff in the games that no one wants. Yeah. Give me, maybe, like, awesome How many types of currency does that game have? There's, Uh, like, three or four. There's the the stuff you can spend real money on is um, Zen. Used to be cryptic points, but then right. they got absorbed by another company, so now they use Zen. Um, in game, if you want to create stuff out of the replicator, you need energy credits. Yep. And you can also mine for dilithium. Dilithium is a oh, and there's also gold press latinum. Yeah. Because you can do like you can gamble with gold press latinum. So there's four different currencies in the game. No, there's not. There's five. There's lobby crystals. What the heck is a lobby crystal? It's uh, I don't even know of this. It's it, when the lock boxes first came out, which people oh. hate. People hate the lock boxes. I hate the lock boxes. They're annoying. They're piece- yeah. But uh, every time you open a lock box, you get a lobby crystal, which you can use at the uh, the lobby consortium store, which is like a, fed- a Ferengi sect or something, some crap like that. And you can buy the uh, anything that's in a lock box. There's also a copy in the Lobby store that you can spend an inordinate amount of gems on to purchase. Yeah. Ridiculous. So, just a way to take the free to play and suck your money in. By the way, but you know what? I can sprint at level one. So what? How about that, Star Wars? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> let's not even let's not even go down that rabbit hole again. <laughs> We've been there, done that. I can't even play the game. Like I can't like even if I want like even if I get <coughs> some like sour pain that's like, mm-hmm. hey, I want to play Swotor. Oh, that's right. I'm locked out of my account. All that security key stuff. My yeah, security oh. key. And like I tried and called. I was on the phone for like thirty minutes. Could not get through to their secure their people. Wow. Yeah, and then I did some searching online, and like I was I posted about it on there, and people on Twitter were telling me like, good luck. I've been on their phone for them for like three hours and not gotten them. Wow. I'm like, okay, if you don't want me to play your game, that's fine. Yeah. Back to that hole. There's plenty of other stuff to take my attention. That's right. Plenty of things that I can play. Yeah. And do play. I know, right? <laughs> Jeez. By the way, just to tie a knot on the whole Defiance thing, uh-huh. uh, show comes out April 15th at 9, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. April 1-5. Yep. Definitely have to... As much as me and you like sci-fi, we're going to have to do something for the premiere. Yes. Throw it up on the big sc- on the projector. Yeah. Throw it up on the Have projector. our laptops up with like... <laughs> No, <coughs> we watch it there on this TV while we're in while we're in the game. The game. Do they have? Um, but that means we'd have to buy it, yeah. and I'm not going to buy it without seeing the show. Exactly. So, maybe point, like point counter. Well, it's a two-hour hour premiere, so it's like time <laughs> to buy it. But <laughs> <laughs> maybe at ten o'clock we'll buy the game. And it's like, hey, it's pretty cool. We'll buy this. <laughs> Ash, I need sixty dollars. I can on hold somewhere and say I need it. Should smack me. <laughs> Full no. Our first anniversary is the f- next week. <laughs> all right so we tied up the defiant stuff uh do you want to talk blizzard or do you want to talk other stuff let's talk blizzard we talk like blizzard blizzard or- uh well the heart of the swarm cinematic tr- uh trinomatic trailer came out the starcraft 2 the the zerg trailer awesome. came out um we were sitting here watching it just a minute ago i'd already seen it but i watched it again uh it shows kerrigan in there um being all queens of bladesy and then find out that she's like not, mm-hmm. which I think is I haven't finished StarCraft two, but I've already been spoiled in that fact that she gets <clears> on <throat> Queen of Blades. Yeah, so I hate seeing it because like that battle looks so cool, but like the Zerg just end up like completely overpowering them. But I'm like the human stuff; it looks so cool. Like there's the whole transformer thing falls out of the sky. Yes, and I love those units. Those those are some pretty beast units. Like if you ever use them in the game, uh huh. Yeah, those are awesome. And then seeing like the battle cruiser at the end come down, yeah, that and just was, like blow up the planet. <laughs> and it's like whose battle cruiser was that? Yeah, is that like the actual <sighs> Rainer? Yeah, is that Rainer's battle cruiser or is that uh, like the Mensk. the other yeah Manx Arctur- Arcturus Manx yeah battle cruiser? It's forces. probably just some generic one. Yeah. The guy's like, battle cruiser operational. <laughs> I just wanted to see, because you see all the Marines. <sighs> I just wanted to hear one of them be like, running away, be like, in the rear with the gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. When did when did StarCraft Two come out? 2010. 2010. Mm-hmm. So Same year as Cataclysm. Same year as Cataclysm. So here it is, three years later. Uh-huh. We're getting... Chapter so 20, 2016, we'll finish up StarCraft 2. 2016. I, personally, I love the Protoss. Yeah. Like, I prefer the humans. I love the Protoss because of but the I do battle carriers. Say, I like the battle carriers with yes. the little, with the, uh, with the little uh, swarm thingy that flies around and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Just get as, build as many of those as you can. For, first, you got to like defend your area, mine everything you can yeah. until everything runs out. Send all your drones to go die, so uh-huh. that way you can have the people capacity, and then build build all the carriers you can. You know what RTS game was awesome that I played? I never did multiplayer or anything. Did you ever play the Star Trek Armada? No. It was it had Federation, Borg, Klingon, and Romulans. Okay. And you, but the cool part was is that. You had your ship, like you had you had all the ships, and then you had the builder ships. Okay. But your ships could also disable enemy ships, and you could beam people over and take over their ships. Ah. But if you captured an enemy builder ship, then you could now build their stuff. <laughs> so it was like you could be Federation, but like capture a Borg thing, and now you can build Borg stuff too. 
That's why I thought it was awesome. And then there was a Armada too that added like all these other things, like Ferengi and all this other stuff. Okay. So, a lot I, of these old school games need to come back. <laughs> Remember the original Warcraft? Uh, no. You never played like Warcraft One? Nope. Warcraft Two? The World of Warcraft was my first. Oh. I have Warcraft Three. I loaded it up, and I was just kind of like, eh, because I'm just not a big RTS person. Hmm. Mainly because I suck at it. It's just the big, huge multiplayer. I I suck at it. Oh well, multiplayer. Yeah, forget that. But well, no, I, I mean multitasking. <clears throat> oh, having just to, yeah. just I got to do stuff. Appeared. I've never finished StarCraft Two. To get back to my point is that I don't think I'm gonna get Heart of the Swarm. Oh, really? I never yeah. finished StarCraft Two. When do we play StarCraft Two? Yeah, well, you gotta cheat. Sorry, I cheat. See, the other part is I see the problem is is when you cheat, you don't get achievements though. Yeah. And there's the part of me that really wants to get the achievements. Play through once in God mode, know what you have to do, then play through again regular. I can't play through it. I haven't gotten the willpower to play through it once regular. <laughs> like, I'm going to play through it and then play through it again. <laughs> I'm stuck on the train one. The one where you have to, like, get all the trains. Oh, the one where you like, have to stop the trains? Yeah. Okay. Um, the, have you found all eight... Uh, uh, decommissioned like a little yeah I think that was tanks? my problem I wasn't getting all of them okay I mean people want to see how bad we are at Starcraft the videos on the internet of when Mark just like stomped us oh yes god that was horrible <laughs> that after show I don't even want to talk about that anymore yeah I, I, I need to cry now yeah alright don't look at everybody I gotta... <laughs> so I don't I don't see myself getting hardest forms like Diablo 3 never finished Diablo 3 yeah Luckily, I got that for free. I never, f- I never finished. <coughs> excuse me, the expansion on Diablo Two. Yeah, they're they coming take- out with an expansion for Diablo Three. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah. how about that? I'd have to, because like I played Diablo One, and that was, it was too short, in my opinion. Uh huh. What well, was sense. the first one? It, makes it was sense. the very first one, and then you go down, you defeat Diablo, and it was like, and you're done. And then when I played Diablo Two, took me not even joking. Took me hours. Took me hours to uh, kill Diablo. Nice. At the end of the fourth act, I found. <laughs> I think you told me this. You yeah. found like a little spot where he couldn't hit you. Found a little. It was. It's that where like the walls have fallen down in the middle, and there's. I that never X. played Diablo two all the way through. So it's like he's up here, and he keeps throwing stuff at me, but it always because there's a giant wall there. So I just kept. I was a druid. Luckily, I was a druid. So right. I kept. I kept spawning like crows to go peck at him and oh that yeah you told wolves you, i think crap. you've shared that on this show we were talking about <laughs> it's it. like that took a couple hours to beat him yeah <laughs> and that was how i did it. see here's the deal though anytime i load up a blizzard game i immediately quit out and like i should just go play wow yep it's like hey blizzard or i can go play wow yeah I did. but i bet if like i was playing <clears throat> with some peeps like some some people were like hey let's go do some diablo 3 i'd be like all right yeah do the multiplayer yeah fun. All right, so what I'm hearing is, is you need to get Diablo 3. No, 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 no. What we're doing <laughs> is we need to take up a collection. Uh, $600, I can have a new computer. <laughs> and just leave it here? And just leave it here. That's what, actually, oh, no, we need $1,200, so I can have two computers. <laughs> That's what I should do. I posted my wish, because my birthday is uh, in seven That's days. That's true. Birthday's in seven days. So uh, It's like six, isn't it? What's that? Isn't it? Thir- next Sunday. Saturday? Next Sunday. Oh, it's on Sunday. February 3rd. Super Bowl. That's right. My birthday. For some reason, Super I was Bowl. thinking it was next Saturday. Nope. That's when That's when some people want to go do some stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, I should I should use their little app on Amazon. It's like, hey, if you want to wish list stuff from other websites. Yeah. I, I posted my wish list on my Facebook. It's mostly just 25 like Kindle books and some Star Trek stuff. Of course. The little gold rank pips. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to walk around with those. Yeah, I'm captain. What? How what? That? What? What? You're not gonna get the admiral, so you can be like your stow. They didn't have them. Really? All they had was all they had was the the four solids and the one black. Oh, weird. I'll just wear all of them and be like, yeah, I'm a rear admiral. <laughs> Got my five. Just like. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> that reminded me of something, and it just oh, gone. I, have, I do that to people. Oh. Oh, I was I was gonna say that when my birthday rolls around in June, I have some unique ideas, but we got plenty of time to talk about that. Plenty of time, plenty of time. All right. So, uh, so still with Blizzard. Still with Blizzard. 
We got a bunch of 5.2 stuff coming out. Uh, apparently, you're not going to be able to fly in that new area. What new area? They, the, what, there's a new area for the, the Thunder <coughs> King raid. Okay. And like a bunch of dailies around it, hmm. but you're not going to be able to ri- fly in that specific new area because they want you to be able to see the stuff. Because they say it kind of sucks when you can just go to like point A, fly down to point B. That's the thing about flying. Yeah. It's so amazing. Yeah, but you don't get to actually see the content. Well, boo hoo. Give us more battles. Don't get. I don't want to see scenery. But it's not going to be like a huge area. Oh, okay. It's like a little small zone. It's not going to be like if you're flying over it all of a sudden, oh, hey, you can't fly anymore, and you're already at 10,000 feet, and you got to fall. No, it'll probably be something you have to zone into, Okay, and you gotcha. just won't be able to mount when you get there. Okay, see, that makes more sense. Yeah. What was, there's there's one area. Uh, on, winter Grasp. Is it Winter Grasp? In the Lich King, where you, f- you fly over it, and it's like, you cannot fly here, uh, dismount, or you'll get teleported out or whatever. Mm. Is that what you're thinking of? Well, no, there was one area where... Um, I kept I I, th- I think I was in Kalimdor, and I'm flying, and it kept putting me in like this active arena. We oh, oh oh oh, that was probably down in Stranglethorn. I, there was a lot of lava, and I want to say it was in the northern half of the continent. Oh, maybe not. I can't remember. Mount Hygel? No, it wouldn't have been Mount Hygel. Maybe it was Wintergrass, but Wintergrass is on the northern continent. And yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't there. Oh, well. Yeah, but I was flying around, and, like, I just dropped. Like, I dismounted. <laughs> Into the lava? And, huh? Yes. And, like, <laughs> I, I dismounted, and it was like, bam, dismount. I'm like, what What did I do? I was, no, well, I was like, that's like, that's like me when I, well, the story I share when I first got into Pandaria, and I'm, like, down on the bottom, and I got to go up top to get to the boss, and I'm like, I'll just fly up there. And then I jump off, like, <laughs> I can't fly at Pandaria! <laughs> I love that because that's that's the thing I did when I didn't have Cataclysm. Yeah, and I was like, "All right, maybe I got to get a running start." <laughs> I want to pull a Wild Wild West. Hey, look, there's a cliff. I know that means the ground's gonna end. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the forward part was then trying to figure out because I the quest giver's still back up there. Yep, got to figure out how to get back up there now. But uh, in five point two. They're redoing, uh, not only adding that new area, but adding the farm, or not adding the farm, but tweaking the farm. Okay. Like you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to use it as your home. I think, like I think you can, you're going to be able to set your Hearthstone to it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, and it's going to change. You can get like I the, one of the articles I'm looking here. Work orders is going to allow reputation gain through your farm. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, I thought this was like originally when I was saying re- re- gaining reputation through like the tillers, which is the farming thing. Okay. But no, they mean like you can like plant other things that you can turn into other factions to get rep with those factions. With like okay. you remember when I was doing all those golden lotus stuff yeah. forever? You could do that. That would be awesome. Oh, God. Uh,. Oh, look, it sounds like it's going to be any way to gain reputation as a bonus, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be that fast. But I guess anything's better than nothing. Yeah. Uh, And last for the Blizzard news we have is, did I ever talk to you about Blizzard All-Stars? Nope, this was the first I've heard of it. Okay, it came out last BlizzCon, so that had been 2011. Mm -hmm. They premiered all these new maps that they were going to do. Uh, that they were re- n- that they were promoting out. One was the I think we played it once. It was the like bejeweled but in Starcraft. Yes, I do. Where remember it that. was like you played the bejeweled game and the stuff goes across the screen. Yeah, you played the bejeweled and then it gave you like guys to spawn. Yeah, gave you stuff to spawn. Yeah, yeah. that was a pretty cool map. Yeah, Which they released that. Beating. They released some other map and then they also premiered this map that was good. They called it originally Blizzard Dota. Okay. Which is Defense of the Ancients, which was originally a mod for Warcraft Three that got bought, or the Steam bought out the team, and the or Valve bought out the team and the rights to it. So they're making Dota Two, mm-hmm. but Blizzard's like, we're gonna have our own Dota game where it's basically like you have a hero and you're trying to. I, I don't. I've never played the game. I need to play Dota Two just so I understand the feel of the game. But it's basically like you level up a hero and have to coordinate with your team to try and kill the other enemy's stronghold or whatever. Yeah. Um, but the great part about the Blizzard one is it was going to have 
not just StarCraft people, but like it was going to have like Kerrigan and like um, some of the heroes because you have like a hero person that you level okay. up and you control. Um, they were going to have like Rainer and like Kerrigan, but it was also going to have like other franchise other blizzard franchises people like thrall and like jana proudmore and okay. diablo yeah. and all this all these other people so it was going to be like and then they ended up getting this licensing dispute with valve over the dota name and then they ended up settling it and blizzard's just like we're going to call our game blizzard all-stars which makes a little bit more sense now yes and now they're talking about not only it being it it's it's been one of those in development for a while that's like they announced it and then we never heard anything or we haven't heard anything about it in a while. Kind of like StarCraft 2. Yeah. It took 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, when you're talking about three years per expansion, I'm like, hey, at least it's not 10 years. Yeah, yeah I'll, give, I'll give you that one. So, but now apparently they're talking about breaking it away from StarCraft and making it its own game, which would be kind of sweet. Because it's also supposedly like for possibly free to play or whatever. Uh, Going nice. the whole League of Legends route, yeah. where it's free to play and you buy stuff to get money. And Blizzard's testing the waters with this free to play stuff, which they will probably never do with Warcraft. Not in, not at least until the Titan comes out. I could see WoW going free to play when Titan comes out. Titan. Titan is their next gen MMO. Oh. It's they've all they've released is a code name, and that's all we really know about it. Well, we know it's in development, and we don't know what it is. It's supposedly like a fourth IP, so it's not ba- supposedly not based on any of the other properties. Okay, but it's their next MMO. intellectual property. Yeah, I keep seeing IP on stuff, and I'm like, internet provider, what are you guys doing? You guys are <laughs> stupid. I'm on the internet right now. Yep. But uh, we got a story that Blizzard is still actively working. Basically, it's just nobody gets hurt anything. And Blizzard just posts up this picture that's like, coming soon-ish, Ish. trademark. That's right. <laughs> Which I thought it was great. Basically, they're just saying, we just want you guys to know that this is still out there. You know that Dota 2 game? We got one just like it coming. <laughs> Give me a date, and I'll be more interested. Yeah, that's- Give me a beta, I'd be even more interested. Rank that into there with other games that I'm not playing. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> Just what I need. Another <laughs> Blizzard game that I Another won't play. Another Blizzard game. To take my time away from WoW. Yep. I need to get the monk up so we can do some dungeons. Some scenarios. I need to get my item level up. Yeah. Well, apparently scenarios now give you uh, better gear. Like, it's not just, like, money and stuff. Okay. Like, they tweak the scenarios to make them more useful. And, like, getting... Get the, like the item drops are supposedly better now. Hang on, wait, wait, not not way back, but back a while ago, there was a a thing about upgrading items in the game. Yes, that is more for raiding gear. Okay, because that that came out with five one, and it was basically everyone doing all the raids. They got gear. They could upgrade that raid gear so they could go do the five one stuff. Okay, okay, gotcha. not really that important at our level. Because you just do more stuff and you'll get better stuff anyways. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so, let's see. How long have we got in here? Uh, like about 45 minutes. We got... Uh, <clears throat> oh, let's talk Logitech. Yes. Poor so, Logitech. Apparently, last year, Logitech went down in flames. Oh, man. That They, yeah. lo- they posted a net loss of $194.9 million. And that... Some of their divisions are going to be scaled back, including their console gaming uh, development, to which I say yay. And you want to know why I say yay? Because it sucks. Like, a couple years ago, Logitech was like the bee's knees for any gaming stuff, all right? Yes. Like, you wanted gaming stuff, you would go Logitech. It was the Mm -hmm. deal. But lately, like, like there was other stuff out there. Yeah, there was like Mad Cats. Yeah, and Mad Cats. Suck. All that stuff. And it was just like original Xbox and PS2. You wanted a wireless game controller. Right. You went Logitech. Right. My The first headset I used in WoW was a Logitech headset for my PlayStation 2 that had, since it was USB, it also plugged into my computer and worked through there. I remember that because. Um, didn't that come bundled with the uh, the like online pack or whatever? No, not the on. Uh, it might have been the online pack. It was um, the hard drive. 
seal oh the yeah, seal yeah, yeah. game um what was that i want to say Bra- something bravo no 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 no, no. hold Let's on see, we gotta look it up now um because that was like that was one of the first maybe not one of the first games i recall of voice so commanding. calm so calm yes so calm Yes, and you're right. It did come with SOCOM because they had a voice com- command. There was voice there. command stuff in there. You hold down one of the keys, and it's like, Alpha, defend defend perimeter, and boom, here we go. Yeah. Do his thing. And it's like, that was it's one of the first console games I remember right. where it was, uh, there was voice-activated stuff going on. But recently, Logitech items I've purchased in the last two years, dead. And like, like I purchased a headset, three weeks later, dead. Ugh. Yeah, I the Logitech <clears throat> gaming keypad up there. Mm-hmm. I bought it a couple weeks, uh, like a month or two later. Didn't work. I had to, I ended up fight with the customer service, and they ended. Their customer service is decent. I will say that the products are not that great, but the customer service is, <laughs> is pretty good. Like I called them up and basically explained, like, look, I've only had this like a couple months, and it's already not working. And they're like, that's fine. They sent me a new one. They're like, ship us the old one back. I was like, okay, cool. I think I may have had to like send them a picture of my receipt or something. Okay, that's to show you bought it. Yeah, yeah that's it. but I mean, and I haven't had problems with it since. But th- at this point, there are better gaming accessory makers. Like Razer, I love Razer products. Like I got a yeah. Razer mouse here. I got two Razer mice here. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like the fact that there's no lights on this keyboard, but I still yeah. like the Razer keyboard. <laughs> That's that's been like your biggest beef the whole time. It's yeah. just all of a sudden the lights turn out. If if they would have put like white lettering on there, yeah, you'd be per- you'd be happy. Yeah. Oh, you'd be. You'd... So that's that's my only beef there. My Microsoft keyboard has white lettering. See, yeah. white letters on there. <coughs> but uh, let's see. Oh well, poor sure Logitech. The, poor Logitech, indeed. 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 All right, Tilk. You know what? I'm not feeling these other two ones. I'm not feeling like talking about them. Not really, because I have no idea what one of these guys are. Yeah. So, all I'm right. Not gonna... uh, and you guys don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> uh, we'll play us out. So, a lot of great stuff. A lot of good stuff. And uh, more to come. Lots of cool stuff. Oh, more to come. More to, what'd you think? More to come? I thought you said like more to con or something. Is, oh. like, is that some convention we're going to? What are we doing? What, when are we going? I don't know. So, a lot of great stuff coming out. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to take up my time playing all the games that I have on my computer. So, I think I w- whenever I do download and fully get into Dota 2, I'm probably going to throw up a video of my, my first, because that's one of the things I've started doing. It's like the first time I play a first game. First impressions. Gotcha, first yeah. impressions. So like when they when they see me do the whole oh, way, what's this? Whoa, ho, oh, hold on. People could laugh at how inept I am at gaming. Mm-hmm. So, um, which by the way, I think coming this week for Friday's OCD TV little teaser. I think it's going to be me playing a Dead Space three demo. Oh. First impressions of that, most likely. So, keep your eyes out. OCDcast.com. It's a website. For all the great information on all the stuff I do, remember you can find you can email us at this show. Let us know what we're doing. Uh, we didn't have a douchebag of the week this week, mainly because I haven't played enough multiplayer games to have one. No, I think so. We'll work on that. Idiots who can't drive in the snow. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, because I was supposed to I was supposed to head north this week to do some work, and when I looked outside and I saw all the snow, I said no. People are idiots on the Beltway when it's dry. Yeah. Not doing squat in the snow. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you want to contact us, find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash obsessive comics disorder. I'm at Chris the Prof down below. You can see it. It's right right here. Right, right, right there. there. there at Chris the Prof. Go. Find Philip at Philip underscore RD. This lovely music you're hearing right now, that is the song L3 by Skyhawk on his album Function. Go get it now. So thank you guys for listening to this episode. It's awesome getting back into the saddle again. I'm Chris. I'm Lord Philip. (laughs) And we will see you guys 
next week right here on Relative Dimensions. Limited minutes.